comes to being a doctor or a physical therapist, a textbook and a professor can only teach you so much. A one-of-a-kind memorial service today for the people who give UNM medical students their most important possession, their bodies. News 13's Cole Miller is here with more. Crystal, it doesn't get more hands-on for these UNM students than this, but many say the bodies they worked with taught them so much more than they ever thought possible. John Bartholdi. Octavia Fallon. Amazingly, their stories echoed in our hearts. Catherine Beauchamp. Vera France. They're the names of donors. Robert Gaines. Whose stories live on. 62 men and women who have given us a gift that no one else can surpass. That gift, their bodies. The educational gift that we were given not only touches our lives, but touches the lives of all the individuals that we will serve in our practices. It's something these UNM med students won't soon forget. I can say I know so much more and I'll be able to treat patients so much better thanks to their sacrifice and giving their body for us to learn with. One of the many reasons the students organized a memorial service for the 62 men and women who donated their bodies to science over the last year. It's a very emotional and moving experience. And not just for the students, but for the donors' families who are saying goodbye again. This service today was so beautiful. It was, um, it's really hard to talk right now. <laughs> he really did see this as one last way to be of service. One man read this poem in memory of his wife. She would memorize your names and ages and pastimes and hometowns, if she could. But she can't now, so remember her. <laughs> Many students say they developed an indescribable relationship with the donors. We wanted to learn more about like who that person was and just about their life in general. And it turns out they were being taught in more ways than one. They were more than the notes or the lectures or presentations. They were the greatest people that we will ever meet. Thank you so much. It was a really great gift. Four different programs use the anatomical donor service, including doctor of medicine, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and physician's assistants. Many of the students at today's service will graduate in 2017. Crystal, back to you. What an amazing story. All right, thanks, Cole. This is the 15th year for the memorial service. Donor bodies are eventually cremated and given to the families.